Welcome back to the set and our second episode. For those of you who are new to the set, it's a great place to get updates on news and events in the Salvation Army USA Eastern Territory and to get some inspiring words from the scripture. We hope you like what you see and that you come back for upcoming episodes. We've been busy in the East these past few weeks, and we celebrated a great weekend together where our newest session of Salvation Army officers, the Friends of Christ, were commissioned and ordained. Congratulations and God bless these new officers on the completion of their training, and we know God is already using you to reach others in your appointments throughout the territory. You might have joined us online through our live stream of those programs. Thanks to everybody that participated with us from all over the globe. We'll also be live streaming the programs from Old Orchard Beach camp meetings this year. If you can't make it up to Maine to join us, just park a lawn chair in front of your computer and log in. A lot fewer mosquitoes that way. We're going to check in now with Larissa Vaughn and see what else is going on in the territory. Larissa? Thanks, Drew. Hey, everybody. Summer 2012 is here. That means the Friends of Christ have been commissioned and appointed to their new corps throughout the territory. Please welcome them and continue to pray for their ministries and their families as they hit the ground running. Summer also means camp. Camps all over the territory are ready to go. We want to wish all our DYSs and each camp staff a great summer. We know God will bless these ministries. Here are some territorial events coming up that we want you to know about. Old Orchard Beach camp meetings are coming up. We're excited about our special guest, General Linda Bond. The Bible studies this year will be led by Commissioners William and Marty Francis and Captains Billy and Annalise Francis. Join the commissioners in the core chapel each morning or the captains at the beach for this great Bible study. Many of you will be joining Chip Kelly and our territorial mission and culture team for LEAD, the Lay Leadership Summit in Old Orchard Beach. For more information about LEAD, check with your core officer or send Chip an email at chip.kelly at usc.salvationarmy.org. Recently, the Western Pennsylvania Division Oil City Dental Clinic completed their first anniversary. Over 3,000 people of all ages were served in the first year, and we are seeing children and adults bridging from the dental clinic to other Salvation Army programs and services. There are big changes coming to the San Juan Puerto Rico Salvation Army this fall. The dedication of the new San Juan Temple Corps and Divisional Headquarters building will bring new ministry opportunities to San Juan. Keep sending us your news and updates for the ministries and programs that are happening throughout the Eastern Territory. I'm Larissa Vaughn, and that's what's happening around the territory in 90 seconds. Camp Sebago, here I come. Thanks, Larissa. Camp is like no place on Earth. And the summer is just such a great time of year to get out and experience all that. Now we'll check in with our very own camper, Sam Lloyd, with the Booth Youth Update. Sam, what do you have for us? everybody, I'm Sam Lloyd and I've got your Booth Youth News for July. Even though you may not have youth programs at your core this summer, there's a ton of stuff for you to do around the territory. There are day camps in some cores, and if you're up for a real adventure, check with your core officer about going to overnight camp. If you're going to be up in Maine for the Old Orchard Beach camp meetings, there are some really cool things planned for the children's meetings, starting on July 28th and going through August 1st. There are meetings for kids of all ages, including a special presentation of the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Hope to see you there! In August, we have Tam Conservatory and Starlight Music Camp. These are great opportunities for young artists and musicians throughout the territory to learn more and spend time with each other. The Tam finale performances this year are Friday, August 10th at 6.30 and 8.30 p.m. Starlight Music Camp begins on August 11th and goes to the 19th. Young musicians from all over the territory will be gathering at Starlight Camp to play and sing their hearts out. The special guest, Derek Kane, is a euphonium soloist with the International Staff Band. Come see the finale on Saturday, August 18th. Be sure to check us out next month when we come to you from the Old Orchard Beach Camp Meetings. This is Sam Lloyd with your Booth Youth News. Thanks, Sam. Like he said, the next edition of the set will come to you from Old Orchard Beach, Maine. If you can't make it up there this year, between the live stream of the camp meetings and the set, you'll be just a little closer. Our devotional thought today comes from Major Janet Ashcraft, Corps Officer at the Montclair Citadel Corps in New Jersey. John writes these words in Revelation 21, verse 6, 
To all who are thirsty, I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Hi, I'm glad you've joined us. Well, the summer is here, and along with the summer has come incredible heat. As we're filming this, we're in the middle of the heat wave that has temperatures reaching high into the 90s, some even hitting 100. And for those of you who live in Arizona and some of those other places, that might be something you're used to every day. But here in my area, it's not something we're used to. And as I'm out walking, I'm feeling the heat, and the sweat begins pouring down. And all I want is a drink of water. The other thing in this heat is you just don't feel like doing anything. You get downtrodden. You feel like just being totally, totally lazy. But something happens when you get refreshed with the water. I'll take a bottle of water and I'll swig it down and it feels so good as it just kind of goes down my throat, down, cools me off, and all of a sudden that heat just doesn't matter anymore because that water has been so refreshing. Jesus says to us that he is the living water. And in the book of Revelation, he says, anybody who is thirsty, come to me and I'll give you water. I'll give you a drink from the springs of life. Jesus brings life. And when the heat of daily living just bears down on you, when you reach the point that you cannot do anything else, what I want you to know is that Jesus is the water of life, and he offers himself to anybody who will come to him. He doesn't just give a little drink that satisfies or, or helps you for the moment, no. He is fullness of life. He brings a fullness and a strength to life that is found nowhere else. Are you thirsty? Are you spiritually thirsty? Do you sense an emptiness in your life that you're trying to fill with other things? Jesus is the living water. He wants us to drink deeply of him. He wants us to, to take him inside of us so that he can bring refreshment and fullness and total satisfaction to you. I pray this summer that in the fun, in the swimming, in the watering of, of, of lawns and playing in sprinklers and jumping into the waves of the ocean, as you feel that water on your body cooling you down and invigorating you, remember the words of Jesus, I am the water of life. All who come to me who are thirsty, I will satisfy. I will give them to drink freely. Come to Jesus and know the full satisfaction of him. God bless you. Whether it's the heat of the summer months or the heat of your struggles that may be stifling you, we always have the source of the water of life just a prayer away. Maybe it's not you that's feeling stifled this summer. Maybe it's someone around you. Sometimes it's up to each of us to be a nice, cool drink of relief to those who need it most. I hope that you can be that to someone in your life over these next few weeks. Once again, thanks for joining us at the set, and we'll see you again next month from Old Orchard Beach, Maine. Until then, it's our hope and prayer that you can take a moment and drink from the living water of Jesus Christ. I'm Drew Forster, and we'll see you on the set.